Rush is another work of mine that draws upon jazz for its musical language. I grew up in and around New York, and I wanted the musical language of Rush to capture all of the influences that I experienced when I was growing up. Not only life in the city and how exciting that can be, but also the musical language that was happening at the time. The first movement is very atmospheric and it gives the soloist the opportunity to sing in a kind of jazz phrasing. I was thinking about Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald and all the great vocalists of the 20th century whom I love so much. And that's what I wanted the saxophone to do in, in that language. The piece has enormous challenges for the soloist as far as, as connecting huge sweeping lines. There's a deep melodicism in the piece. At its very core, it's a lyrical piece. At its core, it's a beautiful piece. Now, I often wonder why there aren't more concertos written for the alto sax because it is an instrument of such beauty. I mean, it's a human voice. It's a, it's a color of, of a sound that's extraordinary. And in Tim McAllister, we have uh, tremendous artist. It was electrifying to hear the London Symphony Orchestra and Tim McAllister read the second movement for the first time. And the moment they finished, the orchestra applauded, which they don't usually do. We've always been craving a, a work of that scope and of that color and mood, something that showcases the instrument both as a melodic instrument and a technical instrument. Ken has captured a very similar aesthetic for this piece, more so than, than maybe any other pieces for the saxophone. And yet at its core, it's still just a, a deeply beautiful classical work.